All right, what's going on all my gamers, all my Honkai Star Rail gamers? I am not happy today. I am not smi I am no smiles today. I am angry. I am here because I have had enough. I have had enough. It enough is enough. I I cannot stand Hex Juice. I hate her. She called me short. She made fun of my height. She fucked my mom and I, I, I've had enough. I am no longer jerking my peanuts. I am here to react to her super nuclear drama video about how she hates Dr. Ratio, how she said Dr. Ratio robbed her in the middle of the night, and how Dr. Ratio players uh, are ruining this game. Alright, that's probably enough. <laughs> that's probably enough misinformation. Uh, yeah, it's just... uh just a casual hex juice video where she talks about the the troubles of being a brand new player to honkai star rail because she has been playing honkai star rail recently where you know she's not like me or like other people who have been playing honkai star rail since the beginning i even played in the beta and you know i, I want to go through and give my opinions as someone who has played honkai star rail and isn't too try hard hell i don't know you know what I, we'll, we'll get through all that through the video so let's watch it. Hey, what's up, you guys? My name is Hex Juice, and I am back at it again with another video being. Remember, chat. Hex Juice hates short people. Apparently, terribly controversial. I didn't really know how much people weren't going to like my last video. So, this is sort of a follow up of the video I made yesterday. I want to take this time to clarify some mm. points that I had because I don't think I said them very well. I want to clarify what my actual issue is because it kind of doesn't get to that until the very end of the video of my first video, which wasn't super great on my part. My bad. And She's a I want to address the fact that my point is that sometimes the community makes it a little bit hard to join the game when the game is already. I will say this, though, as someone who's been watching Hex Juice for uh, about a month or two, no, about a month, maybe, maybe, maybe less than a month. Uh, I have noticed that everyone in there's a lot of people who like to backseat. I don't know what is it about Honkai Star Rail. People really, and I mean really, they really enjoy backseating this game. It is so weird, and I do not understand why. I mean, it's streaming. People love to backseat streamers. I've had people backseat me when I used to play League of Legends, so it's not like it's a Honkai Star Rail thing only, but it's just it's something I notice a lot in their stream that... People really, really like the backseat. A gotcha game, which is realistically sometimes a little difficult. So I hope you enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe. Also, since all of you disliked how much I said I don't like Dr. Ratio, I will now be committing fully to the bit that Dr. Ratio is the least <gasps> character in the game. Yes. Worse than Arlen and also Misha. And there's nothing can't. you can do to stop me. I will be spreading this misinformation on the internet forever. So I, can't, I can't believe she would do that. Why? Why would she do such a thing? I can't. Wait. Is that me? Wait, I'm at the bottom of right there. Wait, I've seen this intro like 15 times. I've never noticed myself. Wait, there I am. <laughs> Look, Chad, it's me. Anyways, uh, I personally don't like Dr. Ratio. I have her with Topaz as well. I'm, I, need, I'm, I guess I need to reroll all the stats or something or put them with Branya. Or maybe even Sparkle, but something. I, I don't like Dr. Ratio. I feel like he doesn't do damage for me. Uh, He does a lot of damage, like, follow-up-wise, but even then, it's not really him doing the damage. It's Topaz doing the damage. Subscribe! <laughs> I love this intro. It's so silly. I think that there is, Sporker. overall, an issue with the way that we give advice in this community. And I did make a video about that. And because I was a bit of a coward in saying <laughs> what I was trying to say. No, you gotta, you gotta say, it you gotta stand on business. Stand well on business. What my actual point was. My point is the advice that a lot of guide makers give is not usable for newer players, lower investment players, or mm -hmm. um, like sometimes even free to play, depending. Because Jing Liu would have been fine for my account. I'm getting Jing Liu. Would have been better than Acheron? Absolutely in no way would Jing Liu have been better for my account than Akron. I think Akron's just a special case too. Akron is just I I mean I see why they put so much marketing into Akron. She is 
like a one of a kind once in a I don't I don't even know once in a year kind of patch character it's like I don't even know it's like when they uh damn I'm trying to think of a League, League of Legends character because usually a lot, a lot of things that relate to League of Legends um I'm trying to think of a character that it was like Zoe on release where she was busted for like six months that's kind of where Acheron stands. She's going to be busted for like the next six months until someone else comes along that's like really broken. Because they're not bringing out a new character yet. They're bringing out Jing Liu. They're bringing back Jing Liu. Next patch. Which she's she's busted too. She's insanely busted. And then after that, I guess would be Boot Hill. Mr. Bussy himself. He's riding on my bussy. And then I wouldn't know... Who else would be a new damage dealer? Sam, I guess. Maybe Sam would be busted, but other than that, it's kind of she's kind of a unique. Once I don't even want to say once in a lifetime. That's, that's just not sure. Once in a year kind of character where she's just that busted. At least that's what I think. So, and you don't really need a lot to invest into her. I mean, you do have to you have to invest into her, but you can invest into her four stars and be just fine like i i don't <laughs> i don't i have black swan and kafka so that team is insanely busted but i have pella c6 and i have gallagher i haven't leveled them up but i know he's good she's good with gallagher and i think dr welt i have welt as well he's not he's not free to play but like you you'll get you're gonna get him eventually he's a five star you're eventually gonna get all the free five stars eventually Right. Run on any planet because so he's, because Akron is broken. Jing Liu is. is a replaceable unit. Doctor Ratio additionally mm, is a replaceable unit. She's re she's replaceable, but she's replaceable by only one of other two people, which would be Akron and then Don Hung Prime. Entirety of Doctor Ratio's utility is just the ability to do big damage. Doctor Ratio does not add. Any does he? Why is he doing a lot of damage to me? Not add. Unless you just really like him, or if you have Topaz and Numbi, that can be great too. Yeah, he's like a but big. Doctor Ratio just does he's like not a, add. He's like what they would call what do they call it in Yu-Gi-Oh? A stat stick. He's basically a big stat stick. Utility, like someone like Akron, like someone like Kafka, does. Mother. All. How the hell are you gonna play Doctor Ratio if you got him? If you're a, if you're not a day one player, if you're a newer player especially, this community has a very very bad habit of acting like there's no such thing as a new player. All of the I can't make that I can't make that joke anymore because she has Pella now. I can't be like, well, why don't you just use Pella, Smile? Because most of you are day one players. A vast majority of people have played since day one because you are Genshin refugees. I did. Y'all forget that there are people I go, who might want to come into the game and like have a, a more fun time. People give recommendations for who to pull for based on the highest ceiling of damage possible. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Uh, now let's. Let's bring that back for a second. You know what I recommend for people? <laughs> look at Topaz. Look at, look at Topaz. That's what, I, that's what I recommend. Is she good? I mean, she's like like middle of the road between... She's middle of the road between a 5-star and a 4-star. But like between Ching Chui and Seal. Seal. Well, I guess not now anymore because Seal got really power crap. But like Topaz is like that middle ground between... uh five star and like a four star she's like somewhere in the between there unless you're you have my topaz which i have no idea how she started doing millions of damage but she's insane she does damage which is also why a lot of people said that acheron was not a good pull because the highest ceiling of damage how are you not gonna see how, you, how would you not see acheron as a good character look at her look at her t uh never mind possible for acheron you do kind of look at them thighs acheron, brother you do kind of need her light cone for the highest ceiling of damage. How many of y'all feel the need to do more than a million damage? No one needs that, but you can do more than enough damage with Akron without her light cone and without her team. It's much. Dude, Dean, not only do I not feel the need, <laughs> not only do I not feel the need to get her to do a million damage. I'm so. I mean, I've. I, if it wasn't, I would, if it wasn't Honkai Star Rail, I wouldn't even level up all my characters all the way. I feel like in Honkai Star Rail, you kind of need to have all your characters to 80. But, like, if you look at my characters and um, my supports in Genshin Impact, like, none of them are, none of them except for Sin Yen, because she's a MILF. Like, none of them are past level 70.
much nicer with her life. And that is just because I that I personally think that of the Ascension is a lot more uh, of a passive. quality of life buff than an actual, like, more damage buff for her. Forker. Recommending characters based on overall usability is very, very valuable compared to on the highest ceiling because Ac a lot of the Akron recommendations were based on the highest getting the highest possible damage out of her mm. you get more than enough damage out of her and all of the same utility e0 uh no i n e0 no no light cone yeah i mean it, you never have to overkill anything overkilling people doesn't give you anything more damage than most of their characters in the game so now, i will say though overkilling is cool and like big numbers are kind of fun and all that, but like you don't really need. I mean, maybe in like the end game content, but even then, you don't really need. You it gives you more than enough time where you don't really need to one shot something. This was the team that I you don't was really need to overkill. I am anyone. not going to be using Doctor Ratio anymore because I think Dot is more fun. But this it was is. the team that I was. Nihility is ratio. great. This was not consistent. Ratio is high risk, high reward. It was, but it was the problem was is that it's not consistent. Ratio, I could just ratio plus your trash kid. Two teams and have way more fun and think way less and do more damage and have sexy women. Your, God, your I love cost women. To benefit ratio is much better on a team like this or a team like this than the cost to benefit ratio on a team like this. Yeah, if you ever wonder whether you should uh, invest time into a character, if you're like me. Uh, you're you basically have two routes. There and it it goes by answering one simple question: Is it a hot woman? If yes, build to ninety or eighty. Build to eighty. If not, just forget about them. <laughs> and then, so I build my characters. And I didn't have to use the second team uh, anymore, builder. and I could use this team. I started flying through MOC. I started absolutely flying suddenly through mocs that i could not do i literally Hopefully just looks so good in that Akron picture on team and stopped using the ratio team a team that needs lower investment and needs lower uh requirements from the other units in the game i've three starred all of these i haven't mm. i don't think i've really done this yet because i get sick of doing this monkey shit and then <laughs> i hate the monkey um, that monkey's such a piece of shit do this one <laughs> i'm just gonna be real i fucking hate this lady this lady is such a bitch. I also have completed uh, pure fiction. Pretty, I think I almost have pure fiction done. I need fiction. like one. I can't Just get the monkey in part three. That I have. Look at this. this that is monkey's such a bastard. Level 64 account. But this is just with my Akron and Kafka team. I just said, fuck Dr. Ratio. Yes, Ratio can be good if you have all the right stuff. Or you could just recommend characters that are lower investment and give ease to the game. Akron can do everything in the game, though. Mm. With subpar units and subpar stats, Akron can do basically everything. My point is, I am not trying to hate on guide makers. I think guide makers are great. There is a difficulty in the community of being welcoming to new players if we gatekeep right. the community by secret hidden knowledge <laughs> or by not calibrating information that we give people to all levels of game over time that right. is going to mean that less people join which means we get less cool new content creators i'm a content we are creator going to get less new players who are interested in the game communities that don't allow new people to enjoy it and get into it and have a fun time they get shittier and shittier and shittier, and then nobody wants to join it. I think I would like it if if when we say, should you pull for a character, we talk more about what it means for a character to be good. Recommending characters based on mm. their usability and not the highest ceiling of what they can do is way better for the community. But how hard, how hard are they? Like, I think that's the most important question that needs to be asked. Is that character attractive? And how attractive are they? Just, <laughs> I guess it depends on <laughs> what you're attracted to. Like, if you like sparkle, you know, you might be into her toes. And making guides easier to understand by not assuming massive amounts of... This is so bad, and probably, I don't know if it's because I watched a guide or because I didn't watch a guide. I legitimately couldn't figure out what Ruan May did for, like, the first month that I had her. I pulled on Ruan May, and I got her. 
And it wasn't just because she was good and the best support in the game. It was because she was hot. <laughs> and I still... And I could not figure out what she did for, like, the first month. I had to... Someone had to, like, type out what she did, explain it to me, and then even still, I had to go in the game and be like, well, now I'm watching out for this extra damage that I could be getting from... uh from Ruan May, let me see if I got it. And then I, when I finally saw it, I'm like, oh, okay, there it is. That's what Ruan May does. I finally understand it. <laughs> ...is better for the community. New players don't know everything, and when they load up a guide, and they're talking about all of these terms and shit that ain't nobody terms and conditions. know about, it's hard. And I guess I, I, I try to talk around it because I don't want to call out guide makers. I think guide makers are cool. But I think when... I hate guide makers. I think you're all fucking... St no, I'm just kidding. Guide makers primarily stream on Twitch and only know the community insofar as those who are on Twitch, which are realistically the most engaged players in the community, right? The 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 reality is that, like, you're, you're, you're like, you need to explain in, like, stupid-ass language. You need to yeah, explain I really something. Man, I really wish I had someone explain to me in stupid ass language what what Ruan May did like at the beginning because I was like, man, I okay, I guess that's what she does. I don't know what it means, but it's what she does. Seems like in, like a dipshit. You don't need to know everything about the game. I love Ruan May, by the way. What is nice? The socially is inept doctor. Help build information. For example, if you are giving a guide on Doctor Ratio, it would be helpful to say if you're an early game player. Doctor Ratio might be difficult for you to use if you do not have two of these five units. Doctor Ratio is going to be really difficult. I still don't if know he's good with. Is that bad? Like, I mean, I have Topaz, so I, I I have, I guess, one of the characters that he's good with, and I don't know who else. Orker, maybe? Tingren? I don't know. I still don't know who Doctor Ratio is good with. I, I haven't looked up a team comp for him because I just don't care. Unca incapable but like, of getting these relics. I don't know. I'm Dr. still not getting Ratio's great. Not be very helpful for you. Uh, stats if you out would of them. Like to still use Doctor Ratio. Understand, you know, this mechanic. So like having things like that mm. in every like when you're especially when you're recommending characters. If you're doing like those like we're breaking down all four of the the banners right and who you should w wish for. It would be helpful to accommodate people who are lower on the scale of of having the game done. Putting yourself in a new player's perspective. Guide makers should take into account the resource dump that is necessary to build a character to a usable stage and right. tell people it's not worth building until end game or mid game. That's that that part. And I think that I guess I really do forget about newer players because it's like I can probably level up for example Jing Liu who's coming out on a rerun next patch. I could probably level her up in like a day or two to level 80 but that's just because i'm already max trailblazer level and i have access to all the end game stuff and all the highest amounts of rewards that anyone can get it's kind it, of it, it's kind of hard to remember to go back to put myself in that shoes because i don't have an alt account for Hon honkai star Rail. i have an alt account for genshin but i don't have one for honkai star Rail. It's it's kind of hard to put yourself in the shoes of a, like a new player again, especially when you, <laughs> especially when you try to block out all the old stuff. Like I don't want to think about old Honkai Star, old Honkai Star Rail. I don't want to think about every day getting in, dying because I want to have uh, artifacts for my Zila and I can't get it because all this. All of the <clears throat> that stupid uh, guard mech thing keeps stunning everybody, and then everyone dies, and I'm just sad and angry, and I just fucking slam my desk, and I'm like, oh, I hate this game. <laughs> but then eventually, after a while, I started getting more and more artifacts, and then the fight started getting more and more easier, and then everything. Nowadays, I don't even have to play most of the time. I just put it on, watch a video, and then just farm because it's going to get done insanely quickly especially now that i have acheron it's it's really it's really hard to think about because i, I try to <clears throat> teach a friend of mine who she's new to honkai star rail and i'm like and she's like oh what should i be working for right now i'm like i don't know I, I don't know what you should be working for but you should definitely not be using your resins on the mate on the artifact domains because they're not going to give you anything and it's going to be kind of a waste of your time so <laughs> Raise your trailblazer level, I guess. I guess I should have been telling her to level up her uh, constel not constellations. What are they called? 
I don't remember what it's called. Her abilities, whatever it's called. She'll level up her abilities because that's like free stats. I don't know. It, it, it's weird to think about for also, me. Also, not just guide makers, but the community should do this as well. Right now, the main thing that's fucking my account, I don't have fuel and I don't have resin. So yeah, I dude. do fuck all with my account right now. I can <sighs> run some universe and not get welcome. <laughs> welcome to end game. I can uh, I can do MLC you have shit that I can't do. But like I can't actually farm anything because I have no relics and I or I have I have no fuel and I have no resin. I can't do anything. But you know hmm. what would have been really nice is if I had been told that Dr. Ratio was not going to be super good for my account until I had a Pella and I shouldn't probably build him when I started. Well, why didn't you just get a Pella sooner, Hex Juice? Duh. Like, it's that easy. You should have just not gotten a Pella at level equilibrium or at Trailblazer level 64. Yeah, she just hit 65. You should have just gotten it sooner, dude. What's the problem here? I'm not seeing it. But that's not what I was told. <laughs> and so I have a whole extra team that never, ever... If I come up missing tomorrow, Hex Juice did not appreciate that joke. Until just now. I just got Pella in the last couple days. Nice. So I have wasted Thanks. materials on specifically the smallest land down. for weeks. And it has meant that I am now stalled on my account because I was using my fuel and all my shit for that. I guess yeah. it is like I will play it no matter what. I'll play this game regardless until a better game comes out. But mocking new players, Weather. making people sound like they're idiots, giving players bad advice that will set their accounts back and make the game feel less fun and satisfying. It is a bad move long term. Definitely. I this community to succeed long term and therefore i am bringing up a problem that is more apparent to me because of my situation than mm -hmm. people who have been playing the game since release or near since release and if you can disagree with my specific takes on specific characters i have no desire to ever talk about dr ratio again i wish i could delete it from my account <laughs> the point is just simply if it's you free. respect people's intelligence while additionally, you also understand that people don't know things that they don't know. We can have a better game and a better community, and we can bring more people in. If we don't do that, you're gatekeeping, and the community's going to suffer. That's the point. True. 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 Tons of cheers all around. I will say this, though. I, 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 I know as someone like me who used to coach uh, new players in, like, sub bronze uh, like bronze silver player like bronze yeah bronze and silver players and iron players for league of legends i will say that when you get to a certain point um it it's kind of rewarding to teach new players so i don't know why people want to act like oh get i want to gatekeep this game i don't want to teach you anything you do this you fucking idiot why don't you know this this and that like i feel like teaching people is a rewarding experience and it's going to make the game a lot more fun for you and you're going to have a lot more things to do within the game. Hell, if people want to do, do not even, I don't want to say Honkai Star Rail coaching, but like Honkai Star Rail lessons, that would be pretty sick. I know. Um, I always got a kick out of teaching new people, everything, especially like now I would have fun. Now what I do, I would have fun teaching people how to play fighting games since I'm a fighting game uh, player now or shit i guess i could i guess i could dust off the the old the old coach hat and the the headphones and try to try to coach a, a league player or two which i would not recommend anyone play, ever playing anything riot related unless you need an e-dating site then you can just play valorant hey but project l we're gonna be there hey chat i'm gonna see you there 2024 maybe i don't know whenever project l comes out but that's not the point um it's really, in my opinion, it's one, fun to teach new people, and two, it's rewarding because you get to see them. You get to see things click, and you see them get excited, and them getting excited makes you excited. But that's just my opinion for, like, people, uh, us veterans, dude, us veterans in the game, us people been in these streets, bro. The streets can't function without me. You understand what I'm saying? Anyways, that'll be it. Follow Hex Juice. 
again, if I come up missing tomorrow, she didn't appreciate any of these jokes. But I will catch you gamers in the next one. Bye. In the-